And, and one area that I thought was really funny was when it came to, to clothes, right? Because that's something right. really easy to make fun of, but then also it has, like, serious implications. Right. So you're saying, like, maybe you should go to the white store, the Banana Republic, and get some khaki. There right? is, like, uh, I remember having this conversation after uh, Trayvon Martin got killed with, when um, Geraldo said, you're going to dress like a thug, you're going to be treated like a thug. Here's the point. What they say is that because you are a certain person and you dress a certain way, if you're black, that means you're a thug. What if I said that every white man that wore a Brooke Brothers suit was a racist? America wouldn't accept that notion, but they easily accept the fact that if you live in a certain area, you speak a certain way, you dress a certain way, that you're all cast, you're all cast with one brush. It's, 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 it's unrealistic, and on its face, it doesn't make sense. People play a lot of home games. People only, they play a lot of home games. They say the things they say, and they edify their own position. They only say, that, I'm on, the reason this book got written, because I want the Fox News to say what I believe. I'm not scared for you to challenge my opinion, because I know I'm a human, and I know humanity wins out. The very scriptures that they use to, to put black people in chains, they now use to put immigrants in cages. <laughs> <laughs>